Well, our black history subject for today are the Negro Baseball Leagues. And during the formative years of black baseball, the term colored was an accepted usage when referring to African Americans. But by the 20s and 30s, the term Negro came into use, which led to references for Negro Leagues or teams. Because black people were not being accepted into the major and minor baseball leagues due to racism in the United States, they formed their own teams and had made professional teams by the 1880s. Baseball featuring African-American players became professionalized by the 1870s. In 1888, the colored All-American was formed. On August 28, 1945, Jackie Robinson met with the Brant Rickey in Brooklyn and was signed to a contract which stipulated thin and on that Robinson had no written or moral obligations to any other club. By the inclusion of this clause, precedent was set that would raise the Negro Leagues as a functional commercial enterprise. The Negro League folded after 1948 season. On June 5, 2008, Major League Baseball held a special draft of the surviving Negro League players to acknowledge and rectify their exclusion from the Major Leagues on the basis of race. Negro Baseball League.